Hey guys, this is What If here, and boy, I was not expecting a, a basically a dev diary sort of video. They said they weren't going to do anything like that this year, but I guess they're not going to title it as that. But this video, uh, NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode Details, is basically a dev diary. So I watched it maybe two or three times now, broke it down, wrote some notes. So yeah, let's, let's analyze it. I'm sure other people have already long beat me to the punch about it, but... I'm going to try to do something different. I'm going to actually do a little bit of actual editing and make it a little more clean and polished instead of vlogging and see what people think of that. So, oh my God, folks, I'm going to actually try. Oh, so <laughs> let's let's get into this. I, mean, I have the video here, so I'm just going to uh, play uh, scene by scene here and just kind of talk about what I see. Um, so we have the uh, ESRB rating here, 10 and up. So we got our first shot here of Talladega. Um, really nothing to know other than the Camaro noses and maybe the graphics. Um, I, again, I think the graphics are, are okay to me. I never really had a big problem with them to begin with, so I don't really want to, uh, you know, you know, scare people or think it's a big issue. It it looks okay. I just want the game to run th consistent 30 frames per second. That's all I really would want at this point from them. So I hope that they deliver on that. So go from Talladega to Homestead. It's just a nose cam with uh, some uh, truck driver racing with Noah Gregson. It looks fine to me. The clouds look good. Um, everything there looks looks fine to me as from uh, from what I can see from this like one second clip. And we go to Bristol, and again we get more drivers than what we can see here. Uh, we got Tift. We got. Ryan Reed, I think Harvick in the 95, Annette, Cole Custer, Sindrick, uh, Ross Chastain in the 4, I think. Yeah, so we got more just drivers and stuff here. And we got the Dirt Series. We have uh, just just a shot of that. <laughs> and then we go to Pocono, where Cowbush Cal <laughs> Cal turns Harvick. There's some smoke. Um, I'm going to listen to this here, because I don't know if there's like crazy tire screeching. No, they don't really have that, but so, yeah, I mean, it looks okay. The tire smoke looks good. It's not, you know, insanely over overzealous or ridiculous, so that's good. More dirt series sort of stuff here. Um, nothing, nothing too much to, to really, de de you know, analyze there. Uh, another shot of, I think it's Road America. So what's neat is you can kind of, I think in that shot, you can kind of see like grass being like kicked up and like there's like a little bit of a dust. So again, nice little touch of, you know, attention to detail. I do like that. So that's good. It's good little details like that that are going to, I think, help this game be a lot better than Heat 2. So yeah, we got more truck drivers. We already have the, the, the truck roster on the NASCAR Heat website, so that. It's all confirmed, but more shots of the tracks and stuff. Again, just I don't think to break in uh, or analyze, but yeah. So then we have uh, Sean Wilson. I think this is the first time I think in any of these videos we've ever seen what Sean Wilson looks like. So there you go. Um, so there's that. He just talks about the uh, the dirt tour and what's in it and everything. So again, I'm I'm all up for the dirt tour. I'm just worried that they spent like all of their time uh, on it and just adding another series and I really hope that's not really the case but he just talks about it and everything and all that sort of stuff again we have a screenshot of Eldora it it looks fine to me but I'm just looking at it here real carefully I don't see too much dirt kick up it's like very little so that's kind of concerning dirt should be kicked up a lot more we put in Eldora Speedway last year it was our only dirt racetrack and it was so popular that we wanted to enhance the dirt racing experience. What's it was weird how he worded that because like he said like the most you know talked about thing or exciting thing was the dirt series from last year, and I don't know. I mean, I didn't see people. I didn't think it was that huge of a deal. I, I thought. I mean, I thought they talked about split screen more than they, <laughs> they talked about the dirt series. So I don't. I don't know, but. Yeah, but in this screenshot here with the 22 car, uh, you see like the tires and everything kind of being up the ground a little bit. Again, 
it may not mean a whole lot, but it's nice to see those little touches or the, the attempt. So that's cool. But yeah, just it's just something worth noting. It just it it's, it looks cool. Again, another shot of I, I'm assuming this is the dirt road course just by the look of it. Um, yeah, dirt kick up here is really good. I like that effect. So yeah, I mean those little things help. Uh, immerse you in the game a bit more and I think that looks it looks good like dirt kick up and stuff that looks fine I think the biggest thing that I brought from dirt that helps me in a cup car today is just throttle control just being smooth with uh, with your right foot and being able to put the power down <laughs> oh Alex Bowman I I don't think you know what game you're playing because this is he's talking about the most important thing in a dirt car is you know throttle control and all that and I'm like Will he three actually deliver that? I it's hard to believe. I mean, even Dirt Daytona, as much as I love that game, it's not super realistic dirt racing. Even he two's Eldora, it was really not like that at all. You just put the throttle down and turn with a little bit of left and right, and that's it. It's, there's nothing too complex about it. So, um, again, the game looks so much like he two. I don't know if it's gonna play any different, but if it's virtually the same as he two, then. All of what Alex Bowman said there is completely wrong. <laughs> because in this game, it, cause if that's the case, then... Or if not, then... I mean, it's going to be just like Heat 2. Maybe, but it's just funny. Because, I mean, he could be entirely wrong on that regard. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a little bit more to it. But, yeah, I mean... I'm not convinced until I see more gameplay than just, like, a one-second clip here and there. So that's just what I took out of that little bit. Beyond that and the variety of the racing itself, we've added eight new dirt tracks to the game. We've got a dirt road course in there. We've got two fantasy ovals. Yeah, he talked about two fantasy ovals, and it's funny because this uh, Ren Vickers is a little bit wrong. Now, in a vlog and stuff, I, I say some things that are wrong and stuff, but when there's a video and there's probably a script and everything, two fantasy ovals, that's not quite accurate because Bristol at one point was a real dirt track once or twice richmond used to be a dirt track before it was paved so it's based in reality in in a in a, in a way not it's not like they're stretching it when they're saying a fantasy because richmond used to be a dirt track and bristol was a dirt track at one point for the world of outlaws so it's not 100 percent fantasy okay it's just a little bit wrong Hot seat races are what earn you like eyeballs. They're what earn you contracts for the upper series. If I'm in the Extreme Dirt Tour, I'm gonna get Camping World Truck hot seats. Meaning, these guys, for whatever reason, can't race and you've been selected as someone they wanna give a shot to. Yeah, so just like he too, they have the uh, hot seat offers for the game again. And I, I, I don't like it. I didn't, I didn't literally like it too much in he too how it played out because you could basically get a if you do the hot seats and get the objectives which weren't really that hard to get for whatever star rating they were um you can pretty much get a five star ride opportunity pick that and just rip the field apart <laughs> so it's gonna be just like that with the dirt series so at least with with this hot seat stuff so you go to the extreme dirt tour you get your hot seat races you probably it's probably just like how he too was and then when you're full time in the dirt series and you get hot seat offers from a truck series and etc and etc i'm not too much of a fan of that and also the star rating what we kind of see in this game so far is three to five it's just not varied enough like i've said before it needs to be probably like rated one to five just to give it that more variety because it's uh, i don't know i i'm certainly not a huge fan of the hot seat offers i, I guess i get the intent but um, it's just, I, I guess it's just not for me. And if you do well, they'll notice you and you get a full-time contract offer um, to go to the next series. Yeah, it's definitely a stressful situation, you know, just um, going into a situation where you really have one shot to kind of prove yourself. So just try to make the most of all those situations and it was a big relief um, when I got the call that I was going to be driving it in, uh, in 18 full-time. Last year we started down this path of you working your way through um, multiple series, starting from the bottom, getting to the top, becoming a Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion. <laughs> oh god. I forgot. They have the same guy with the... Like, that face! Why? Why is that back? 
I guess that's your manager, but why is his face just like... <laughs> they reused it again. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, God. Um, you also have to buy the car models. Um... Hey, there's a paint kit. I see it. Oh, my God, folks. We're gonna... We're gonna get a paint kit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... I remember Sean Wilson mentioning something like, somebody asked if there's more paint schemes, and he's like, oh, gee, I don't know. I don't remember. And then, and then he's like, I think there's a flame one. So really the only thing we got out of it was, hey, we, we there, there's a flame scheme. We got one, we got one more new template, folks. Holy shit. That, that's all we took from that. That's all we could t interpret from that tweet. I remember that. But there's a, there's a paint kit thing, so. There you go. <laughs> Last year we started down this path of you working your way through um, multiple series, starting from the bottom, getting to the top, becoming a Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion. This year, a really cool thing that we added was an ownership mode. So really, you can be a driver and just race, or you can choose to start your own team, build up your own car, build up your own staff, your facilities, um, enhance the car based on how well you're doing. You have to earn money, and as you earn money, you can put that back into your team and make it better, and go through from bottom to top that way as well. In addition to hiring and training your employees and spending money there and upgrading your, your facilities departments, your suspension, your aerodynamics, and your engine, um, you also have to buy the car models um, for these employees to work on. So you need to get a chassis for each track type that you're going to see while you're in a series. For example, you're going to need a, a chassis that runs well on super speedways. You're going to want to buy a chassis that runs well on road courses. You're going to want to buy a chassis that runs well on short tracks. But ideally, you go out there, you do well, you make some money, and then you reinvest that money that you make back into your cars so that you can actually race more competitively on these different track types as you get more chassis types. You're only as good as your race car, and that's uh, obviously something that you learn as a kid, but it's, uh, it's very important at this level to have a great race car behind you and a great race team. As you progress through the weeks in your career, you'll have to upgrade the cars and work on them to get them ready for the race. So you can do that a couple weeks in advance. If you've got enough personnel, you can assign them to your short track car, even though your short track race might be two weeks away, but you can get them working on it and get them prepared for that race. One of the most important things of being a successful race team is you've got to be able to plan. You've got to lay out your chassis selections. You've got to start preparing your race cars well in advance of the time it is to go to the racetrack. Okay, I guess there's a lot to digest here. So I, I want to break it down a little bit. Um, I'm all up for the owner mode and what it has to offer. Again, that sounds like probably the route that I will be taking for the, the career mode. So it's, I guess, I, I think it'll be a little bit more fun or challenging than the... Uh, than the hot seat. I don't know if you still have to do the hot seat for the owner mode or, or, or what, but I'm definitely going to be doing this this owner mode stuff for sure because that seems more interesting and more deeper than than uh, the racer version. So, <laughs> yeah. But all the stuff we're talking about, like, you know, scheduling your work plan and all that sort of stuff and the R&D, that's all good. That's all good things to hear. He, too, didn't have any of it. Heat Evolution had a very bare basic version of it. But yeah, it sounds it sounds all good. I'm just hoping it's you know not super easy to get all these parts and that you don't blow by them in like a season or two. Because Dirt Daytona, as good as that game is, that's one of its drawbacks. Is if you race in other series and get money, you can pretty much build up a good amount. And by, basically, by the second full time season, you would nearly have all the fully upgraded parts and then just rip the field apart. So I don't know if it will be like that here, but it's just something worth noting because that's what I experienced in Dirt Daytona, and they this company worked on Dirt Daytona, so the correlations could be the same. But yeah, I like the uh, planning out your your schedule and your cars and stuff. It's kind of like uh, sort of similar to NASCAR 2004 with um, you know you re you would repair your stuff and it would be done in two races. That's not really planning ahead for a specific race, but the idea I guess is sort of the same. Um, I think, but yeah, all that stuff sounds good. I just hope it's, you know, very, I guess I would say very time consuming to improve the car. It shouldn't be over like one season where you get the max upgrades. I hope it's at least, you know, two or more seasons. So that, that's what I'm hoping for with all that. Okay. So this screenshot here is interesting because this is for the owner mode and you can own this 33 dirt car. 
Now, what I'm thinking about is for other series and stuff, if you were to own a certain team, because this 33, remember, there was a one, there was one screenshot where it said race this 33 car in the, I guess it was the driver motor hot seat something. So, yeah. So does that mean when we do the owner stuff and we select a team that we purchase? So can we theoretically like buy furniture row and in our shop we'll have the different cars? I'm kind of unsure unless it's just a dirt series thing because licensing oh licensing issues all that sort of i don't i don't know but i was just thinking of that when we saw uh, that we see these 33 uh, cars in the garage i thought at first that they were new custom schemes but i remember that that hot that screenshot so for the hot seat with that 33 car so i guess i guess not but i guess it's a possibility so that's interesting i'm just 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 saying what i see in career mode, you can either be a driver or an owner in the same series. Uh, you could choose to be an owner, say, in, in the Xfinity series, and then after that year is complete, you're like, I don't want to be an owner anymore. Um, I'm, I'm tired of managing that team, you know, a bunch of misfits or whatever. <laughs> whatever your reasoning is, you can become a driver if you get a contract offer and you can race in another car. And then after that season, if you decide, I still want to race Xfinity, but I kind of miss being an owner, your team's still there. It's still there. You go back and it's where it was. So all the money you spent upgrading that team you can still go back to that if you want to go back to it. Uh, you can also, you can race in all four series at the same time. So you can be an owner in the uh, Extreme Dirt Tour. You can be a driver in the Camping World Truck Series. You can be an owner in the Xfinity Series. You can be a driver in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. I mean, you can interchange that. So there, there are a lot of options to kind of keep you entertained and, and focused on what is best for you while you're racing. So that's really about it for all the, I guess, the dialogue bits is we get more screens to shots of, you know, tracks and stuff, which Again, there's nothing too much to really break down or analyze. I mean, it looks very similar to Heat to Heat 2. Uh, we got Johnny Sauter's 21 truck. I, I haven't paused on that moment. But, yeah, uh, GMS is going to be confirmed in the game, which they weren't in, in it last year, so that's cool. I know Justin Haley's uh, 24 truck was an added thing in Heat 2, but it was just, just that truck. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're a thing now in this game, so that's cool. The more the better i would say so yeah but uh, what sean wilson said there about the um you can run four series that concerns me because is it going to be just like he too where you can run all three series but you can't you know simulate different races you cannot pick and choose what race you want to run so say for heat three if you want to do all the series is there a way to simulate races that you don't want to do? Do you have to literally do every single solitary race that they that they have? Because if that's the case, that really freaking sucks because that's going to make playing the game and getting through stuff very very just you know tedious and annoying. You know, I remember Winval had that issue when he was playing and when he moved up to the Xfinity series and he still wanted to do truck races. He couldn't simulate certain truck races So he had to basically do like a start and park and mess with the the the, this, the, the race settings So the race length for that was like 3% or something and, and do like a start and park which you know It's possible to to do stuff like that But it's very tedious and time-consuming to do that instead of, and instead you could just all you all you got to do is just you know you know hit a button to simulate it and move on just like what uh, NASCAR 05 Chase with a Cup had, or even NASCAR 2004 and 3 had, where you can simulate uh, simulate certain races. So, if if it's like, you know, if if they don't have that, and you're forced to race every single race, that's gonna suck. That's gonna be really freaking annoying. So I hope that's not the case, but the way he worded it, I I don't know. I I don't know. That doesn't sa that concerns me. So Dirt Daytona, you. Even dirt, yeah, even dirt Daytona, you can not simulate races, but you can pick and choose races you want to do. So I hope that's the case here. I really hope so because it would just be a lot more convenient and more enjoyable to play the game that way. So yeah, that's just I hope. I can only hope. Also, also I forgot. Where are my stats? Okay, where is the menu for my stats? All right, I've been waiting so patiently for stats. Where the fuck is a menu for stats? I always see a season status, but I don't, I don't know if that's stats. I tweet you, Sean Wilson, where I want my stats. Give me my fucking stats. So yeah, I hope there's stats in the game. I really freaking hope so, or unless 
this poor controller is going to go flying in the background again like last is this gonna be a year anniversary where i have to rage about the damn stats just to get it in the game <laughs> like please we got four series how am i gonna keep track of all that well, folks, got got a pen and paper. Uh, there, there's your stats. <laughs> oh, I hope I they better be in the game. I swear to God. Oh, they're better. It's like, and also they don't have like the track map and stuff. I don't even really. I didn't bring it. I mean, it's it's it, it's kind of an issue. And no, it's not. Here we go. I'm going into tangents. But every time I get a comment about the damn track map and shit. It's, it's always about, oh, you don't know your way around an oval? Uh, uh, oh, you need that to know where you're going? It's like, no, of course not. Of course not. Jesus Christ. It's just, it's, it's something that is convenient, not only for me, for where other cars are around the racetrack, and also for people that are watching the videos. Oh, God, I know the crazy concept of people watching people play the game. And looking at the track map to see what the hell's going on. Oh. Oh my god. I, I know I know it's mind-blowing. But it just it would be something that is nice. And that is the reason why I would like it. Just because I think it would be nice to see. Just, just saying. Is, is, that, is that such a complicated thing for people to grasp? I should really make a parody video where it's just like... I don't know where the tra I don't have a track map, so I don't know where I'm going, and then I just get lost in the real world, and I just drive somewhere else because I don't have a real I don't have a track map. Also, also, folks, it's a video game. You can you can have it. It's it's okay to have a track map, as long as you have a HUD option to remove it. You can have as much shit overlaid on the screen as possible, but you can have the option to, to you know remove stuff. Oh, I know. And NASCAR 15 had it, folks. I, I know people shit on that game a lot, but it had that feature, and that was nice. So yeah, those are my thoughts on on the whole thing. There's there's surprisingly a good amount of stuff that they went into, and I'm glad that they made this video and kind of talked about it in detail. Again, I wish I knew 100% what the difficulty is like. I know they keep saying it's harder, but I need to see to believe it. You know, I can't I can't tell the difficulty from a few seconds even a second of gameplay I, I there's no way to tell and that Watkins Glen clip there was nothing to really take in to, to tell the difficulty was harder or what but yeah I mean all that sounds good I'm hoping they deliver I'm just worried about the driving model I'm worried about uh, if it's gonna be really easy to upgrade stuff I mean it's in general it is the proper steps in the right direction I'm just worried about the driving model because the driving model in Heat 2, even Heat Evolution, was one of the, the, the I guess, the just the lamest things because there really wasn't much to it. You're just on the throttle, off the throttle, a little bit of turn, and that's really about it. Short tracks, okay, hit a brake. That's it's, it's not anything too complex. It's not too much of anything. It's just very simple. Their Daytona kind of has that problem too. But the tire flop and everything and the AIs uh, kind of made up for it in that regard, even with those little drawbacks. That's that's at least how I personally view that as. But yeah, all this sounds good. I hope they deliver. Again, they're in they're they're aiming in the right direction. I just hope that they deliver, and I hope the driving model isn't the same like he as he too. I really hope not because that would suck because that would take this game far back. As well as the AIs and the pit strategy. There's just a bunch of things. Even if certain career mode, uh, career mode aspects don't deliver as as promised, I hope that the AIs and their pit strategy and their difficulty as well as driving model and tire fall off are all pretty good. Then it can salvage a pretty meh to a good career mode. So I'm hoping that's the case again. Uh, just a lot of things to take. Just, just speculation at this point, so. Uh, it's uh, sounding good so far. I'm just very, very uh, cautiously optimistic. So we'll see how this all plays out in the future. But that's really all I have to say. I'll see you all later. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.